bugs, banjos, bots. When you think of these three words together, does anything come to your mind? I can almost guarantee you that nothing would. Until now. Meet Ellie Minibot, the bug-loving, banjo-playing robot VTuber who you won't be able to get enough of. With an immense knowledge of robotics, an exceptional singing voice, and an endless amount of bug facts, this VTuber will keep you engaged for hours on end, and all it took for her to get an amazing amount of well-deserved recognition was a small spark from our favorite programmer turtle and AI VTuber combination. What is happening? What? Um, hello, Pedal! Uh, huh? Now let's learn more about Ellie, and how she can potentially bring Neurosama into the real world as Robotic Dog, or Robot Furby, which is literally my nightmare. Ellie, please don't. <laughs> The backstory of this little bot is a unique one. Before she even began her VTubing career, Ellie was extremely talented with robotics. She had run a small business in high school with friends at the time, building small electrical devices for people, and had even interned at a major robotics company, handling military-grade robotics, which makes the NeuroFurby idea even more terrifying. But the whole reason why she even became a VTuber was on a whim. She had experience with 3D modeling bugs, just finding bugs, scanning them, and making 3D models like Pokemon IRL, which Sounds really fun. Then a friend of hers had asked her to make them a VTuber model, so Ellie started working on it and went live to test out the model, which made her instantly fall in love with VTubing and streaming. With Ellie's robotics background, it would only make sense for her own VTuber model to be a robot. Hot diggity, Ellie. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. Utilizing a model of her own design, she began her VTuber career in September of 2022 with her debut on Twitch.television. When you first enter into an Ellie stream, you're welcomed by an energized, positive streamer who's usually either playing banjo, singing songs, just chatting with her community, or playing GeoGuessr. I've never played GeoGuessr at all, so let's see what it's all about. I'm guessing like real trash jersey if I had to guess. Like, uh, like nasty gross jersey, like... Like, like in here, maybe. Like in there? I mean, she's not wrong. Like, like even maybe, yeah. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! 6.2 miles! See? Can't, can't be mad at it. It's a fact. I can't be mad at it. Jersey's just stinky. Everybody tell me I'm pretty. Ellie was able to achieve all of this in her free time while still working a full-time job. Just another reminder that even if you work full-time, you can manage to pull off extraordinary things in your free time. Just have to keep going and not give up on things you're passionate about. Ellie steadily continued streaming while working throughout 2023, the whole time just enjoying her streams with her community, which she affectionately calls Goofuses. Goofuses? Goofuses? Yeah, okay, okay, I'll change the Discord name. We'll all be Goofuses together. To Ellie, this is all a fun passion project, which is shown through her positive and energetic vibes during her streams. And you can tell she loves and cares for a little Goofus nation. She even has a sass bot mode where she just looks a bit more evil and sassy, but she struggles to be even the slightest bit mean or sassy. Yeah, I got raided by Vettel. Uh, that was a thing that happened. Um, I owe him my life and soul. I don't know how to thank him. Um, oh wait, I'm in sass bot mode. Well, uh, I can't say something mean about him. I feel bad. <laughs> um, m mosquito turtle, uh, a femboy, uh, <laughs> uh, kill me, kill me. Ellie, listen, if you need help to be sassy or sarcastic or anything like that, I got you. You know, since I'm from Dirty Jersey and after all, you know, it's, it's in our blood to be sassy. Honestly, it's just truly amazing to see a VTuber or any streamer just having fun with it because they enjoy what they do. During her Twitch journey, Ellie not only streamed but also created her YouTube channel, mainly to upload her VODs, along with a Spotify account where she currently has two of her original songs. Together, You're losing sight of yourself, but I never do. And afar. So I'm stepping back, heading Both of which are absolutely amazing. Like everyone else, Ellie started off small, with a steady viewer base on Twitch. Slowly growing over time, and by the start of 2024, she was averaging about 30 viewers, and debuted an updated model which she is still currently using. Little did she know that not long after that, her streaming career would bug out. Get, get it? Be, be, because bugs. Bad jokes aside, her growth would soon get a well-deserved jumpstart because of fellow computer nerds and a dose of her amazing family. One thing that has always meant the forefront for Ellie is her amazing family. From what she's said about her family overall, it seems she comes from a very loving family of robots and turns out her dad bot is a VTuber fan on his own and got into the AI VTuber Neurosama and programming Turtle Vidal, which would lead to him being a part of a raid that would forever impact this banjo-playing bot. Neurosama raided me! 
me? <laughs> Guys, I have to call my dad. <laughs> my dad knows who Nerosama is. Someone who my dad knows raided me. <laughs> this is the wildest thing that ever happened in my life. Now, if you're a fellow streamer or just person who watches streams or just sit and chat or whatever, I'm sure that you know that a rate of this size and intensity could make or break a streamer. A lot of times streamers just aren't prepared for something like this to happen. You know, nothing against them, it's just that if you're smaller and not used to that amount of people watching you, it could be very overwhelming, which is understandable. So in turn, you know, people either get way too overwhelmed, stress out about it, or they just don't want all that attention at all. But Ellie? Ellie was able to roll with it and not miss a beat. Of course, it was an overwhelming experience overall. You know, something like that, even when done correctly and positively, it can still just feel overwhelming. But she was able to keep up with chat as best as possible, along with help from her wonderful mod team, who also deserve all the praise for helping her through this. And viewers clearly vibe with her energy. Her average viewership has only been going up since that day. Her community in Discord is slowly growing and stable, and I personally could not think of a more deserving person to have this spotlight on them. This is also how I found Ellie's content, just seeing a clip of the raid on YouTube, thinking she had fantastic energy, following her socials and getting a chance to talk with her. And I could say that the kindness she shows during streams is natural, and she's just that kind of person. There's nothing fake about this VTuber bot, and no, I am not just saying that because I'm being threatened by a Furby. This wasn't just all good for Ellie though. vito has been wanting to make a robot dog for Neuro, and now linking up with a robotics nerd with experience in military grade robotics? The likelihood of a robot Neurosama is rising. Oh no, what if the reason Vito raided was because Neuro's advanced AI figured out that Ellie could just assist her in world domination? Nah, that, that couldn't happen. Right? As long as it's just Neurosama, we're fine. But if evil Neuro gets in there... Well, we've all seen that movie. Ellie's interactions with Neurosama didn't stop at the raid either. Neuro even did a cover of Ellie's song together. Even when it rains, regardless of the weather, if you lose sight of who you are, we'll go find out together. In turn, Ellie also did a cover of one of Vito's songs, I Don't Want to Be an Engineer. I don't want to be an engineer. I tried so hard and got so far and now I can't decide. All my life I've given my career. These numbers in my head keep on spinning round and round, yeah. It seems like the hype for this bot is not slowing down anytime soon, especially with the amount of clips on YouTube showing off more of this bug-loving robot and getting her name out to an even wider audience. And honestly, Ellie deserves all of this positive recognition. So far, it's looking like the future is bright for Ellie, especially with her just hitting 10,000 followers over on Twitch. I cannot get over this, you guys! Who knows what's in store for everyone's new favorite bot. She loves the career she's in and loves robotics, so it doesn't seem like she's quitting her day job anytime soon to follow her Twitch career, which is honestly amazing. It's so hard nowadays to find happiness with a career and hard to find happiness as a creator. But Ellie has both, a happy personal career and a happy VTubing career. Just smooshed together like a little sandwich of happiness. I personally cannot wait to see what else Ellie cooks up for her streams, what songs she creates and covers, and anything else she decides to do along with even more potential collaboration with Neurosama, Beetle, and any other VTubers who she may interact with. I honestly believe Ellie is going to keep growing her streams and community while managing both her Twitch and personal careers at the same time, while overall just being the wonderful bot she is. Her links to Twitch and YouTube are all down below, you know, like usual with us. So just make sure to go show some support, you know, follow, subscribe, like. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this other video I made about a small mouse VTuber and a decently sized talent agency that you guys might have heard of. Until next time, be strong, stay safe, keep kicking ass. Later.